Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have this cylinder liner. This cylinder liner belongs to the company Pi, P-I-A. This is a brand new cylinder liner. It was installed in the truck that I have behind here and uh, it fell. And I'm going to show you what happened to the cylinder liner. Pi or P-I-A is one of the main competitors of the factory OEM parts, genuine parts of Detroit Diesel and many other uh, manufacturers. Pi is one of the uh, manufacturers that are actually pushing their materials so that way we can push away the OEM signs. This one is a little more yeah, economic. Um, in this case, I have this OEM cylinder liner and we have probably around like 800,000 miles on it or more. Not sure what was the mileage on the cylinder liner on this um, engine, on the engine that was removed. But this one right here, um, the cylinder liner was installed and um, after 30, 40 miles, it started doing a failure. And I'm going to show you, I want to give you a, close, a closer look later. Um, right now, I'm going to give you some introduction of the issue. So what happened here is they, they, they replaced the whole overhaul kit. Pi, PIA sells you the whole overhaul kit with pistons, uh, cylinder liners, main bearings, and everything. I have a video showing what is the Pi, the PIA kit. You can check my channel and you want to see the full video about what is like to buy an aftermarket Pi PI-8 over the whole kit for your GD15 engine. And um, it, it sells you everything, so you want to replace all the parts together, but this one failed. And I heard about it, I heard the PIA Pi was having issues in in the cylinder liner specifically having some specific issues and uh, i never i never got to see it until right now so this is the first time i see a pie aftermarket cylinder liner with a failure and um probably i already work with 15 probably or less 15 pie aftermarket overhaul kits they are still running on trucks and this one wasn't installed by us. This one was installed, one installed by someone else. Someone else did the job and they didn't uh, find out the issue until they brought it here. And we find out that we have an internal issue. So to give you an idea of what is the cause of this problem, the cause of this problem is coolant inside the combustion chamber, high coolant pressure, in this case, it was a high blow by inside the coolant system, which is very rare. DD15 engines don't suffer with that. And it was coolant in oil. So we have three different issues caused by the cylinder liner. In this case, we didn't have high pressure in the crankcase system as OEM cylinder liners does. But in this case, we have high, high coolant pressure, which is related to the head gasket and cylinder head. That is something completely different. That I'm giving you the information so that way if you get in this issue, you know what to check. But um, that doesn't mean that that could be the specific issue, but at least you have the idea where the issue could be. Anyway, um, the Pi cylinder liner, um, this is, a, as I say, a brand new one. And, um, and I'm gonna show you what is the damage on it right now. So let's get closer to it. So we are right here, very close to the cylinder liner. Let's give you a closer look and let's put some light on. So we can see the damage right here. That's the reason why we have the X right here. The cylinder liner cracked right here and it went down and both sides are the same the other side inside you can see the damage right there it cracked which is no good and the crack goes on the top as well we have right here to be specific uh, we can barely see the pie uh, 
part number it's very hard to see it you see right there see we can see the pi and we have another right here but they're very hard they're fading away because they're not stamped it is just a little print see pi see so that way in case you wonder if this is real so yeah we have a real pi cylinder liner then crack with less than 30 uh, miles now the reason why i have this other cylinder liner is because this cylinder liner suffer a pretty similar damage see a long crack and goes all the way down and it's very visible but the difference between this and this is this one is oem this is a oem factory cylinder liner with around 800,000 miles or more no sure but i know that this truck was a 2013 so it has to have over 800,000 miles and this is a pi pia aftermarket they only run a couple miles sadly uh, i was not expecting to see this and i say before as i say before this is the first time i see this issue on the pi aftermarket but that doesn't mean that this is going to happen to you and i heard about it before i even mentioned that on my video when i i was looking at the brand new pi aftermarket kit and um I mentioned then I hear about it, but never had the experience to actually see it on my own. But today I had the experience. So in this case, for this truck, we are going to get a um, brand new overhaul kit. Then we have right here, we have a couple overhaul kits right now. Then are for different engines. This is for 2013 right here 13 and we have the other one right there but this one is the one that belongs to this truck a 2010 see right here because we have a epa 10 that's the reason why we have a epa 10 overhaul kit then it's going to be installed on that one right here epa 10 that's the part number that doesn't mean that the part number is going to be the same. This is the specific for this truck, but um, this is what we're gonna be installing a brand new overhaul kit from factory, a Detroit diesel OEM factory overhaul kit. So uh, the owner of this truck definitely was not expecting to spend money when he decided to I buy the pi aftermarket kit but things happens you know there is always problems sadly he is the one then uh, pay the consequences of a failure now he's scared of using it so that is the reason why he is going straight back to oem that way he can avoid this issue this is just the freest time as i said before my freak experience um having Pi aftermarket hit problem. Uh, the cylinder liner failed, and uh, I can repeat that over and over. And I mean, it is just to clarify what was the issue. I know you already know what is the issue, but um, it is just something very, uh, we can say, un inconvenient to happen, especially when you are actually buying this aftermarket kit because it's supposed to be a good kit. This kit is going to cost around like probably like $3,000, $2,500, depending where you buy it. Right now we are in 2022. We are actually in March 2022. And these components are very expensive now because of the shortage of parts and supplies and everything. So this overhaul kit can be a little more expensive than whatever it was before. So that's the reason why I can say that it can be $3,000. I have no idea what will be the real time 
price right now because I don't usually buy these overhaul kits. I usually buy OEMs only. If the customer decides then he wants an aftermarket overhaul kit, he's welcome to bring it, but we are not going to play with warranty on it. Still, if we get warranty, for example, if we had the supplier, the supplier, direct supplier, come to us and say, hey, you know what, I want to give you the overhaul kit directly to you and you can sell it, but if you have any type of warranty, for example, a warranty like this, we want to cover everything, your labor and the parts, that will be perfect. But hopefully one day we can get hands on the supplier and we can get full warranty in case something happens. The only issue is, in this case, this, the owner of this truck, he lost a lot of money already doing the whole labor of um, replacing an overhaul kit and the time then this truck has been stopped. So he's probably, I will say then he lost over $25,000 or more, depending how, how much expenses he had because of the truck. You know, you have the truck, you have to pay insurance, you have to replace, you have to play so many things. And if this one doesn't run, it's pretty much an expense instead, instead making money or investment or something. In this case, sadly, this is the issue that happened to him. Thanks to the issue, I'm making this video showing you what is the um, problem that we are getting on the Pi aftermarket of the whole kit. But this is all I'm going to share with you at the moment. And if you have any questions, you are welcome to comment below. And also you can answer them because there are many, many mechanics students are watching my videos and some of them have pretty pretty good experience i've been reading the comment section below and there are some that really have experience and if you are one of them please answer those questions because you're gonna help others in the seek of information It's very important when we are looking for information and when we are getting it on time now you wanna go and see Instagram and look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. You wanna see different content that I'm posting there and different things that I'm doing day by day. You wanna send support to the channel, check the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel so I can continue making videos like this of these machines that are very complex day by day. I try my best to keep you posted with the lastest information I get so that way if you have an issue, you know where to go which is my channel as always like the video share it subscribe and thank you for watching